we review the request and it is not approved. About seven and a half months ago, I was diagnosed with ALS. And the average lifespan after diagnosis is three to five years. For seven and a half months, I've been trying to get medication for this disease, but I keep getting denied. But this story has a happy ending, so stick around because I'm going to take you through the whole journey that I've been on for the last seven and a half months, okay? This all started because I had neck surgery and I wasn't seeing any improvement. So my surgeon sent me back to a neurologist for some tests. Dr. Shen tested me and didn't like what he saw. So he ordered a whole bunch of other tests and um, his final diagnosis was ALS but he wasn't 100% sure because he, in his 17 years of practice, had only seen it just a handful of times. So he's like, you have to go to a specialist. During this time, he, um, he tried to prescribe me one of the two um, medications that are available right now. This is my folder that uh, Mrs. Ann has started for me. And it um, contains all my scans, my MRIs, my uh, CT scans, and just all the literature and approvals and denials. Okay, so let me read you this one. Uh, Dear Mr. Nakakihara, Recently, you or your provider asked us to review a request for medication. We reviewed the request and it is not approved. We denied your request because we did not see what we need to approve the drug you asked for. Medications that are not medically necessary are an exclusion under your plan benefits and are not covered. So that happened over and over and over. And um, in the meantime, I was trying to get into an ALS clinic. And so uh, I, I went back to Dr. Shen a few more times and he kept trying, kept getting denied. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait till I get to the clinic uh, because I'll probably like, they deal with this all the time. Like it should be no problem. Right? Wrong. So I get to, uh, the ALS clinic and Dr. Mullen is like, I, I don't understand what's going on. Like he's never seen this before. So he tries to, um, prescribe it and it keeps getting denied. And we're like, what is going on here? Like, seriously, it made no sense whatsoever. So Anthem Blue Cross said that I am not uh, far enough along in the disease to uh, warrant this, this uh, medication. And, um, the first, like, Radicaba is expensive, but Rylazol is relatively not expensive. I, I didn't understand what the problem was. Like, there's only two medications, and they're denying me both. It was incredibly frustrating for obvious reasons. So fast forward to a couple weeks ago. I post another health update video and um, one of you guys posted this comment. I want you to know I read every single comment and I try my best to reply to as many as I can. 
Um, and I read this one and first of all, I'm so sorry about your husband's, uh, diagnosis. And a second of all, I'm like, I've never heard of the Mark Cuban online pharmacy. So, um, I kind of kept it in the back of my mind. I looked it up a little bit and, um, at this point, um, Mrs. N is like at her wits end. She's so frustrated with everything that's going on. And, um, I'm like, okay, I got a plan. And so here was my plan. I go onto the website right here. I create an account. I look it up and they have Rylazol and they only charge $10 for a month supply. And I'm like, $10? Like, they're going to deny me treatment for $10? This is crazy. Um, so I come up with this plan. Okay. I'm going to go to Dr. Mullen. I'm going to ask him to submit it to, uh, this pharmacy and, um, bypass insurance. So not put any insurance information. So I print out the form. I bring it to the appointment. I present it to them. Oh yeah, no problem. They've ordered from, uh, they've used this pharmacy before. And I'm like, okay. Still not believing that it's going to actually happen. So, um, I get an email from, uh, from the pharmacy saying that the prescription was submitted and everything looks good. Put your order in. So I put my order in and it got approved and I'm still not believing it until it actually arrives. Okay. So I'm sitting there. And I get an email that it was delivered. And so I go out to the, the mailbox, pick it up. I bring it back in and, um, Denise opens it up and we just sit there in the kitchen and we, we cry. Look at that. Makes me cry. For seven and a half months, I was denied treatment and I like, it was so, it, it, it was like, it was so nonsensical. It made no sense. Like for $10, like it was crazy. The medication is normally six hundred and thirty seven dollars and I got it for ten you know I, I'm gonna be totally honest I have never been a Mark Cuban fan uh because I like the Lakers um but man I I am so indebted to you, like, I, I can't believe 
that it actually happened. There it is right there, you guys. I got three bottles of this. Three bottles for 30 bucks. And $5 shipping, $35 for three months. Like, it's un unreal. Stella Olazar 9007. Like, I don't even know where to start, but thank you so much. You've helped me. And through that, you have helped so many people. I guarantee you that this will help a lot of people. You guys, Mark Cuban Online Pharmacy, I think it's called Cost Plus or something like that. I'll put the, uh, the uh, URL right here, okay? So if you are having a hard time getting medication for the reason I did, <clears throat> or for any reason, like, or maybe it's cheaper, like, go check it out. Mark Cuban's Cost Plus Online Pharmacy. Like, it's legit. It's for real. I got medication that I, it took seven and a half months to get. Unreal. Unreal. And ladies and gentlemen, like, if you have a similar story, put it in the comments below, Okay. I want to hear from you because you can help us together. We can, we can help each other. Okay. Stella. Let's give it up for Stella too. Please in the comments below, give her some, give her some high praise. Okay. And as always, you guys. I found some joy. Let's go find some joy together, okay? Go find some joy.